So we've all seen the videos. They go something like this. In the summertime, it's how long will a 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery run an air conditioner? In the winter, it's how long will a 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery run a space heater? Sometimes they mix it up and they say how long will a 12 volt battery run a refrigerator? But it's almost always the same video. We've all seen it. I've actually done them. They're played out. Spoiler alert, runs about an hour. They're boring. Let's do something different. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see, can you do your laundry off grid? Can you use the power of the sun to wash and dry your clothes? Can you use a 12 volt battery and an inverter to do it? Is that enough? How much energy does it take? What's the best solution to dry your clothes? So the battery I'm gonna to use today is my $6 million battery. If you're interested in this battery, click here. I got a whole video on it. It's a 200 amp hour battery, but it's kind of a crappy battery. So it's really about 100 amp hours in capacity. So it's a standard 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. I have a Gandel 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. This is my standard inverter, I love it. I have a kilowatt. This is gonna track the energy we use. The washing machine is hooked up just through an extension cord so I can have everything outside. It's a standard full size Samsung washing machine. We bought it last year. There's nothing special about it. Just a run of a mill that you'd get from a big box store. I'm gonna do a load of towels. Again, this is just standard laundry. It's gonna run for about 45 minutes. And let's see what we get. Is this possible? Is this gonna be enough output? Is this gonna be enough energy? Let's find out. So watching somebody do laundry is not the most exciting thing, but I do wanna show you the setup at least. Turning it on. Throw in the towels. Well, there we go. Let's see what happens. Well, the laundry has been washed, so we know that at least this setup does work. But before we go over the very surprising results, we have to talk about how to dry the laundry. This is what always cracks me up. You see these off-graders that create these massive 240 volt systems so they can dry their laundry using solar. Well, you don't have to do that. All you have to do is hang your laundry outside and use the power of the sun to dry it. And when it's cold and cloudy and rainy, bring it inside and put it on a rack. We live in Oklahoma and we get a lot of clouds and it still gets pretty cold in the winter time. But bringing it inside and putting it on a rack works perfectly fine. So now for the very surprising reveal. So you can see it ran for about 45 minutes, but the most amount of power that went through the system was 669 watts. So a 2000 watt inverter was more than enough. In fact, you could probably get away with a 1000 watt inverter. Now here's something else that is incredibly amazing. I'm gonna click through to the kilowatt. One load of laundry was 0 0.117 kilowatt hours. That means a standard 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery could do 10 loads of laundry. So you can easily wash and dry your clothes off grid using solar energy. I was completely blown away with how easy it is to wash and dry your laundry using a small solar setup. So that means if you have an off grid cabin and a small inverter and a couple of batteries, you can easily wash your laundry. And then just hang your laundry out in the sun and it'll dry perfectly. So this just absolutely blew me away. If anyone's done anything like this or has any questions about what you saw today, please leave a comment below. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to everyone soon.